and welcome to the Hammond Solutions channel. In today's multi-part series on VMware, we're going to cover how to back up vCenter using the VAMI interface. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we set up backups on vCenter, we should probably go ahead and create a target for the backups to go to. I have a Windows file server here. In the root of one of my drives, I created a folder called VC Backups. And if we look at this, and if we look at the sharing, advanced sharing, what you see here is I have a group called Backup Admin that has read-write changes. And that's all you really need. And as far as the user goes, all they need is a basic domain account. So I created a service level account. And then as far as folder securities, I added that group here. And again, I just did modify. That's all that's really needed as far as the folder. As far as vCenter goes, we want to log into VAMI, the Virtual Appliance Management Interface. And to get there, you go to your vCenter's address, and at the end, you go to port 5480. And you log in using your root account. After you've logged into VAMI, on the left column, we'll click on Backup. And then on the top right, click Configure. I'm going to cheat, and some of this is pre-populated from other experiments. As far as the schedule, this is completely up to you and your requirements. Daily, weekly, you could do monthly, whatever's needed. I prefer to run my backups real late at night. The encryption key, this wasn't required in vCenter 7, but it looks like it's required in 8. Uh, the only gotcha I found in my testing was that Ironically, the password has to be 8 to 20 characters, and one special character, one uppercase, one lowercase type of thing. As far as retention, I would strongly recommend you put something in here. Otherwise, you can run the risk of filling your drive. As far as how verbose you want the backups to be, your only real option is to uncheck this box, which would remove stats, events, and tasks. My vCenter is brand new. There's only a single cluster, not much data, so not a bad thing to keep either way. All that looks good. Let's go ahead and say create. Now, just to test everything, do backup now. Use the backup location and username from the backup schedule. Yes, please. Need to put in our password again. And again, the encryption password. And say start. All right, you can see that the status says complete. And then if we go to our file server, and you can see we have our backups, vc-backups, and then vCenter. Inside here, you'll see vc02, that's the name of our new vCenter. vc01 is our old data center. Now, after we've covered that, I have a very important question for you. Is your vCenter backed up? I hope you found this content helpful. Thank you. Take care.